This is exactly what health officials say speed up the spread of the virus. People mixing it up in a tight space indoors without ventilation. The video landed on Snapchat's public snap map posted by one of the partygoers Saturday night. Its location is tagged and brought us to this strip mall on Fruit Ridge Road near 66th Street. I spoke to a business owner here who didn't want to use his name fearing pushback, who says he learned of the underground party the morning after it took place in one of the back units because the cops responded to a shooting at the same time and place. The Sacramento Police Department says there was a shooting outside of the 6800 block of Fruit Ridge Road at 2.30 a.m. Sunday. Responding officers arrived to find a large group of people running away and evidence of a huge party in the area and shell casings outside of the building. Two gunshot victims who took themselves to the hospital were linked to the shooting. This video shows a pretty egregious violation of public health orders, and it just so happens that tomorrow morning, the Sacramento Board of Supervisors will be considering fines for people and businesses who violate them. Individuals could face a fine from $25 to $500. Businesses could face penalties between $250 and $10,000. The hearing expected to attract a variety of opinions. For weeks now, we've been speaking with business owners about intensifying restrictions. Uh, you know, the real issue is large gatherings, and uh, people don't seem to want to stop doing that, but then turn around and say how bad they feel for us, which is a little bit frustrating because, like, you know, actions speak louder than words. The proposal at tomorrow's meeting would have to reach a lofty four out of five votes from the board to pass.